time management can be a real difficulty for some children. Sometimes just understanding the concept of time. So when you say you've got 10 minutes to go or five minutes to go, some children find it very difficult to understand what that actually means. It sort of feels like ogledy minutes. It's, it doesn't have a concept which five is this big and 10 is this big, half an hour is longer. So one of the things you can do to start with is to bring in um, an estimate of what time feels like. So if, if it takes five minutes to walk to the shops, associate five minutes with that, something they do on a regular basis, or it takes half an hour to go to see granny, so they understand that's what that drive feels like. That can make some difference. You might want to use timers when you're working with your kids, and you can have sort of fun ones, like sort of pig that you set, and then it pings after five minutes. So the child is waiting for the sound of time up, or you can have things like big egg timers, like this sort of thing. And this has got a five minute timer. This can be a problem for some children because they become so interested in the time passing, they don't actually do the task they need to do. So you might want to set it, but don't have it in front of your child. So using timers can, can make a difference. And some children really can wear things like vibration watches. You can get these from the RNIB. And these can be set to vibrate at a set time so that if they're doing an exam and they need to do five questions in a certain period of time, it can be prompted to, say, vibrate every 10 minutes. And that can help some children because some, people, some kids might find they do the first question really well, but they stay on it and they don't move on to the next question. So that can be a useful technique as well.